Hey everybody, Matt Johnston here, Matt the Lawyer. We're talking about the National Labor Relations Board today. More specifically, we're talking about a, a, a decision that they handed down that's going to make a pretty significant change in how employers deal with employees that are being terminated. So the case revolved around uh, 11 employees who were laid off from a company back in, well, during COVID. And these employees were asked to sign a severance agreement um, and the severance agreements, most of these severance agreements that you see, uh, I've seen many of them, have, we're going to pay you some sort of severance pay anywhere, two weeks, two months, whatever, and we're going to provide your health insurance benefits, we're going to provide a few other things maybe, and in exchange, you, the employee, are going to waive certain kinds of actions against the company. Most of these are discrimination actions, you know, Americans with Disabilities Act, EEOC, these sorts of things. And oftentimes, these particular agreements also include a non-disparagement clause, which says the employee shall not disparage or, or talk smack about an employer, and a gag order, which is a, a, a provision that says you can't talk about this, the contents of this agreement with anybody except maybe your lawyer or something like that. So the National Labor Relations Board took a look at those last two parts, which are um, the gag order and the um, non-disparagement clause. And they said that these two provisions violate Section 7 of the National Labor Relations Act. So the National Labor Relations Act, Section 7, says that an employee has the right to speak about the conditions of their employment without any restrictions from the employer. And that discussions can include talking smack about ownership, about managers, about the company, and that's okay. It's a right that the employees have. So even though these particular employees were actually no longer being employed, the National Labor Relations Board said that that doesn't matter the fact that they were employees and are now being asked to waive certain of their rights under Section 7 of the National Labor Relations Act is enough. So what does this mean? So you're seeing a lot of employment lawyers talking about this, HR experts talking about this, and what this means is that employers need to take a long, hard look at their severance agreements. Do you include... Um, non-disparagement clauses? Do you include uh, gag orders and things like that? And those are going to need to be removed. So you should consult with your lawyer if you happen to use any, any of these severance agreements. And the question then becomes, so what does that mean for current people who are still within some period of time after they have been terminated? That's a little unclear. Uh, in theory, you know, the damage may have if there's any damage that can be done, it's probably well past its age, but I'm not entirely sure the National Labor Relations Board did not cover that aspect of it. So there may be some further action a little bit later on. So um, if you are an employer and you're going to be laying folks off or, or you need to terminate somebody for performance or, or what have you, and you have a severance agreement, then you need to make sure that you have run it by counsel in order to make sure that it is um, in compliance with the National Labor Relations Act. And before you ask, the National Labor Relations Act applies to every employer, period. Not just union shops, every employer, public and private. So you have to manage those sorts of, of, of restrictions and you have to deal with this particular decision. So if you have a severance agreement that you want to have somebody take a look at, hey, give us a call. Uh, you can schedule an appointment right down below. You'll see the, the link down below in the comments on the YouTube channel. In the meantime, uh, have a good day. We'll talk to everybody later. Go out and watch some live soccer. Bye-bye.